how much growth is the right amount of growth is a common question. And there's not a common answer. Uh, in fact, if you polled all of us at Insight, you'd get different answers. There are various ways to think about it, but one of the so-called rules of 40, rules of 50 type mechanisms is increasingly popular. And the basic idea is, if I take my revenue growth rate plus my profit percentage, expressed as a percent of revenue, what is that sum? If I'm growing 40% and have 20% profit margins, 40 plus 20 is 60. That's a pretty powerful number. And you'll talk about, or you'll see in literature, public companies reporting uh, analysis that way. Uh, we like that metric as a, as a kind of a, a proxy for trade-off. I would trade 1% of profit for 1% more growth. Um, that's really one of the, the things we think about as investors. How expensive is the next unit of growth? If it's less than a percent, you should do it. If it's more than a percent, you should think about it. We don't think about the right growth rate at a given size. We think about the growth rate in the context of intrinsic profit potential. That's a made up phrase that I use, but, but what, what profit level can this business be? And is the growth rate, is it appropriate for the level of profitability? I would say 20% growth, losing 20% is a very bad place to be, unless there's some reason for a temporary spend. Growing 100%, making 60% EBITDA margins is a euphoric place to be. And there's a whole lot of cases in between. But there isn't a one-size-fits-all formula for this makes me attractive. All of that can be solved in valuation. And that's really where rubber meets the road for this discussion. It doesn't really have to do with the growth per se. It has to do with you value your business at x. I think it's y. Is there a way to make those two numbers convergent through some kind of deal?